Okay, nominal and effective interest rates. This video can be for grade 11 and grade 12 financial mathematics. Okay, one, determine the effective annual interest rate if the nominal interest rate is A, 12% per annum compounded quarterly, B, 14.5% per annum compounded weekly, C, 20% per annum compounded daily, D, 16.8% per annum compounded annually, E, 16.4% per annum compounded monthly. Okay, you have five questions to answer. Okay, let's start with A. So question A, the formula for converting from nominal interest rate to effective annual interest rate in case you forget the formula think of this formula the compound interest formula okay you are going to think of this part the part in red okay this is how you can obtain the formula for converting from nominal interest rate to effective annual interest rate or from effective annual interest rate to nominal interest rate in case you forget the formula you are going to think about this formula, the compound interest formula. You are going to use this part, the part in red. Okay, so you are going to have 1 plus i, okay, like this 1 plus i. This is going to be the effective interest rate, okay. So you close your bracket just the way you have it in a bracket. This is to the power of 1. There is an invisible exponent of 1. Okay, this is equal to 1 plus, now you are going to have the nominal interest rate. Okay, nominal interest rate over K, you close your bracket to the power of K. Okay, K represents, for example, if it is compounded quarterly, K is going to be equal to 4. So you are going to have 4 there and another 4 in the exponent okay when it is compounded quarterly you are going to have 4 day and 4 day okay so the nominal interest rate is divided by k okay you have k at the bottom and you have k as an exponent okay only the nominal interest rate is divided by k in some textbook you are going to have m instead of k you are going to have m okay in some textbook you can have m there instead of the word nominal you can have m there and m at the bottom and m as the exponent okay i prefer to write it like this okay whether you have m there and m there is still the same okay do not be confused so this is how i prefer to write it okay you only have the nominal interest rate divided by k so in case you can't remember this formula remember the compound interest formula okay you are going to use this part in red okay n is equal to one okay because the effective annual interest rate is always calculated over a period of one year okay this is why you have an invisible exponent of one okay n is equal to 1 okay and here you have k as an exponent and k you have it at the bottom okay remember that so let's use this formula to determine the effective annual interest rate if the nominal interest rate is 12 percent per annum compounded quarterly okay so we are going to use this formula okay so you have 1 plus effective annual interest rate okay annual because this is per year okay annual means per year okay so you have one plus effective annual interest rate this is equal to in bracket you have one plus you have your nominal interest rate okay 12 percent per annum compounded quarterly okay you are going to divide by 100 now you have 0 0.12 over k 
k is equal to 4 because this is compounded quarterly. Okay, k is equal to 4. You close your bracket to the power of 4. Okay, k is equal to 4 because this is compounded quarterly. Okay, now the question is to determine the effective annual interest rate. Okay, you have to determine this. Okay, you can keep this on the left side. This is equal to, you have this. Okay, you take 1 to the right. Now you have minus 1. The effective annual interest rate is equal to, you can plug this in your calculator to get the answer. Okay. So you have this in bracket. Okay, this is what you have. So you have 0 0.1255. Okay, 0 0.1255. Okay. Multiply by 100 so that you have your answer in percentage. So the effective annual interest rate is equal to 12.55%. Okay, when you multiply by 100, you have this in percentage. Okay, question B. We're still going to use this formula. We are going to use this formula. Now you have 1 plus effective annual interest rate this is equal to in bracket you have one plus nominal interest rate is 14.5 percent per annum okay the nominal interest rate is 14.5 percent per annum divide by 100 you are going to have 0 0.145 okay 0 0.145 over k is equal to 52 because this is compounded weekly. You have 52 weeks in a year. Okay, K is equal to 52. So you are going to have 52 and then close your bracket to the power of 52. You carry on. The effective annual interest rate is equal to, you have this. You take one to the right. Now you have minus one. Okay, effective annual interest rate is equal to plug this in your calculator you have this Okay, this is what you have. 0 0.1558. Okay, 0 0.1558. And then convert to percentage. You are going to multiply by 100. Effective annual interest rate is equal to 15.58%. Okay, now question C. Determine the effective annual interest rate if the nominal interest rate is 20% per annum compounded daily. Okay. We're still going to use this formula. Okay. You have 1 plus effective annual interest rate is equal to, in bracket, you have 1 plus the nominal interest rate is equal to 20% per annum compounded daily. Divide 20 by 100, you are going to have 0 0.2, okay, 0 0.2, or 0 0.20 over K, K is equal to 365, okay, 365, okay, you have 365 days in a year, okay, K is equal to 365, you close your bracket to the power of K, K is equal to 365, okay, let's carry on. Now you have the effective annual interest rate is equal to this. You take 1 to the right. Now you have minus 1. 
effective annual interest rate is equal to plug this in your calculator you are going to have 0.2213 okay 0.2213 effective annual interest rate now in percentage you are going to multiply by a hundred okay you are going to have 22.13 percent okay now question d okay determine the effective annual interest rate if the nominal interest rate is 16.8 percent per annum compounded annually or compounded yearly okay they can say compounded annually or compounded yearly still the same okay so we're still going to use the same formula okay now you have one plus effective annual interest rate okay one plus effective annual interest rate this is equal to in bracket you have one plus the nominal interest rate is equal to 16.8 percent per annum compounded annually divided by 100 you are going to have 0 0.168 over k is equal to 1 okay annually so once a year k is equal to 1 you close your bracket to the power of 1 okay you can put a 1 there if you want or you can leave it like this okay let's put a 1 okay so this is what compounded annually okay when it is compounded annually just know that effective annual interest rate is equal to the nominal interest rate when it is compounded annually so the effective annual interest rate is equal to the nominal interest rate okay when it is compounded annually okay now question e determine the effective annual interest rate if the nominal interest rate is 16.4 percent compounded monthly we're still going to use the same formula now you have one plus effective annual interest rate is equal to in bracket you have one plus the nominal interest rate is 16.4 percent per annum divided by 100 you are going to have 0 0.164 okay 0 0.164 when you divide by 100 okay over k is equal to 12 okay compounded monthly k is equal to 12 close the bracket to the power of k k is equal to 12 okay now you have the effective annual interest rate is equal to this you take one to the right now you have minus one okay effective annual interest rate is equal to plug this in your calculator you are going to have 0 0.1769 effective annual interest rate is equal to multiply by 100 so that you can have your answer in percentage you are going to have 17.69 percent okay okay now question two we are going to convert from effective interest rate to nominal interest rate okay converting from effective to nominal okay you are given this question determine the nominal interest rate compounded semi-annually which results in an effective annual interest rate of 11.5 percent per annum get your answer correct to one decimal place okay so semi-annually can also be written as by annually or half yearly you're still going to use the same formula as we have used in the previous slide okay so you have one plus you are given an effective annual interest rate of 11.5 percent per annum okay divide by 100 
you are going to have 0 0.115. Okay, when you divide by 100, this is equal to, in bracket, you have 1 plus nominal interest rate. Okay, nominal interest rate. This is over K. K is equal to 2 because this is semi-annually, meaning twice a year. Okay, you close your bracket to the power of K. K is equal to 2. Okay, because this is semi-annually, meaning twice a year. Okay, now the question is to determine the nominal interest rate. This, okay. So you are going to take the square root on both sides so that you can get rid of this. Okay, you are going to take the square root this side and then the square root this side so that you can get rid of this. Okay, now you have this square root of 1.115 okay this is equal to this one plus this okay when you get rid of this you are left with this you are going to take this you take one to the left now you have minus one this is equal to you are left with this okay this is what you have on the right side now to get the nominal interest rate you are going to multiply by 2 so that you can cancel. Okay, you are going to multiply by 2 throughout. Okay, on both sides. You multiply by 2. You have the nominal interest rate is equal to, you have this. Okay, you have this in bracket. You are also going to multiply by 2. So the nominal interest rate is equal to, Plug this in your calculator. Square root of this. Okay, remember, negative 1 is not underneath the square root sign. Okay, negative 1 is not underneath the square root sign. So you have to separate. Okay negative one okay make sure negative one is not underneath the square root symbol okay multiply by two this is equal to this okay 0 0.1119 okay to four decimal places okay four decimal places 0 0.1119 okay now, to get your answer in the percentage, you are going to multiply by 100. So you are going to have 11.2. Okay, 11.2 percent. Correct to one decimal place. So you are going to have 11.2. Correct to one decimal place. Okay, so this is what? This is the nominal interest rate. Okay, you can also write it like this. I superscript 2 okay because this is semi annually this is why you have a superscript 2 if it is compounded monthly you are going to have a superscript 12 if it is weekly you are going to have a superscript 52 okay and so on if it is quarterly you are going to have a superscript 4 okay because this is semi annually you have a superscript 2. Okay, so this is equal to what you have there. Okay, so in some textbook, they can write it like this or like this. Okay, do not be confused between the two. So this is how you can convert between nominal and effective interest rates. This video can be useful for grade 11 and grade 12 financial mathematics. Okay, we are done for now. Until next time, I will talk to you soon.